The basic plan is a great option if you're looking to streamline your shipping process, but you don't need any of our advanced inventory capabilities yet. So within the app, you have the ability to create shipping and return labels, sync tracking with your carts, and use advanced features such as presets and automation rules to automate your process. With these features in place, you'll be able to get your orders out the door really quickly and efficiently, uh, no matter what your order volume is. So in this demonstration, you're going to learn about the features available on the basic plan and a bit about how to use them. Um, but for more in-depth information, like if you really want to learn about a feature, uh, take a look at the video specific to the feature that you're interested in, because um, we do have a lot of those out there and they really delve into it. Um, or if you have a question and you can't find a video about it, obviously reach out to us um, and we can explain it to you as well. Um, so let's just get started. I'm here, I just logged into my Ordora account. Um, I can sync my sales channels. I see that I have seven orders awaiting fulfillment though. So what I wanna do is just get those out the door. Um, this is a, uh, these are kind of my orders and I'm gonna select the ones that I wanna create. Um, I have an automation rule that's set up. I have some high value orders and we really prioritize those. So I have an automation rule that automatically tags these high value orders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and filter to those, select them. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the shipping. Um, let's say I'm doing it all the same, or I have presets in place that sets that up. Um, I'll select whatever shipping options I want to ship those out with. And then once I'm ready, I'm going to update my orders. So I'm setting all the shipping parameters there. I see what the cost is. Um, right now I see my shipping balance is uh, not enough to create all these labels, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reload that really quickly. Add some postage so that I can afford these. Uh, go ahead and pay for them. And then, all good, I'm going to create those labels. So then from here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and print out my packing list so that I can go pack those up and ship them out the door. Um, so I have, this information is kind of already set based on, uh, whatever you did last time. So it pulled up the same settings as last time. Um, this time maybe I want to, uh, show the images on the, the orders as well. Um, and I want to make sure it's the same original order lines, but I also want to show the logo on my label. Um, I don't have that set up yet, so. I can't actually do that yet, but if you wanted to do that, you could definitely set that up. And then I also want a pick list because I only want to go through and grab everything for the orders, bring it back, and then pack it up. So then set that. I'm going to make them side by side and then go ahead and select print. So I have my labels and packing list side by side here um, and I'm ready to go print those off. And then this last one here is a pick list of everything I need to pick to pack these orders. So I'm going to go ahead and print this off, go pack it up, pick it, um, add the packing list, and get those out the door. So that's pretty much the process. Um, so I'm done with those. Now I'm going to go fulfill the other four orders. Um, maybe maybe these are different. I'm not fulfilling them all with the same shipping method. So I can select one, select my carrier and my package type, and modify the dimensions if I need to. Um, if they're different than what, what is here, we do calculate those for like, so like for this order, for example, it has one item. So if I had dimensions saved for that item, it would automatically populate the dimensions here for it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and modify it for this order. It has the weight already calculated from the products on the order. So I'm not going to edit that. I know that I have those set up and I'm just going to go ahead and create that label. Um, I could create it now or I could have waited and modified the other orders and then created them all at once. Um, I hit print later there, so now it's going to be over here in my unprinted only filter. So um, it's going to be ready for me to print out. So if I wanted to create these individually and then move to printing them out, I could do that. Depends on what your process is, so definitely um, modify it to fit whatever your, your warehouse process and your needs are. Um, if I were going to scan verify the content pack the package contents to make sure that it's all the correct items going into the box um, This is where I would go in to do that. I would print my pack list first though So I'd select the orders that I want to pack select print pick pack list um, Attach packing list and I'll make sure that the show barcode is checked so that when I print these packing lists um, I get a barcode for each each one so that I can scan that and make sure the correct items are going into the box. 
and that's once again with the scan verify package contents. Um, if I want to see what is all in all of these orders, right now we're looking at a collapsed view of just, you know, name and city, uh, requested ship method, and whatever parameters already set for it. Um, but I can also hit this expand button, and from here I'll be able to see all of the items on the order um, in even more detail. Shipping information, shipping parameters, full address. Uh, this one, for example, if I see, I see this zip code is not correct notification. Um, this is through a USPS address validation. So if I click edit, um, I can see that it's suggesting basically this plus four. So I can go ahead and use this address and hit save. Um, and then that address is validated. It's a better one, so it's going to be easier for USPS to ship it out. So we can go through and do that for all of our orders as well. This one is also another zip code not correct. So I'll just use the suggestion and save. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it as far as like label creation and everything. Um, if you have an order that you need to maybe mark as shipped, maybe you just created your Ordoro account and you had already shipped that out elsewhere, but that hadn't, that tracking information hadn't got to the sales channel. You can go ahead and mark it as shipped. Um, this doesn't send a notification to the sales channel or anything. You basically just moves this order to the shipped status and the ship tab here. Um, if I want to see any canceled orders, if I have canceled orders, I can see those here. I can see all of my orders here. So uh, right now they're expanded, but I can collapse and you can see it's shipped or awaiting fulfillment, whatever the status is for those orders. Um, parameters that we have it. Uh, this order is shipped, but EC tracking number not provided. That's because it was marked as shipped. Um, you can kind of get a good glimpse of that here. And if you maybe want to take through, take a look at all, all of your orders for like the day, maybe you're just going to do a quick sum up, make sure everything's good. Um, you can go ahead and put that filter here and just kind of see what's going on. Um, if you need to create any manual orders, you would do that here. So you can enter an order, maybe it's from another system or it's a phone order. You can do, set that all up. Um, products, if you need to modify any of your product information, um, maybe you need to set UPCs for that barcode scanning stuff that I mentioned earlier, uh, this is where you would set that up. Uh, you can modify the weight, you can set the package dimensions, so if I know that this box, this package is the only one, um, if this is the only item in a package, I know that the, it's going to go in this package size, I can save that and that will automatically populate when my orders come in. Um, for orders, if let's say I'm going to ship this one out um, and I, I entered an order earlier that was like some custom dimensions and everything, uh, maybe this is a box that I use commonly in my warehouse um, and I don't want to have to type in those dimensions every time and it's for two items so you know it's not going to really calculate those dimensions. That's fine. We can totally save all of your custom package sizes so that it's easy and you don't have to manually enter that and it saves time and you know it it's a bit more uh, safe so you're not entering the wrong dimensions on accident. So to do that, we'll go to presets, save these options as a preset, um, save whatever those parameters are, and then we can even set up an automation role based on whatever parameters on the order uh, to go ahead and apply this preset when an order comes in. You can do that directly from here by checking that checkbox, or you can go do it in the settings section. If we check the checkbox, we just basically set what it is here. Um, and then apply that preset and it's already kind of selected here. Um, we can also add other actions. So if we maybe want to apply a tag to these orders, we can do that. Um, if it's not the one that we currently have here, we can create a new one. Basically, just kind of go through that process. So the more you set stuff like that up to, the more it's going to streamline your process um, and make your shipping even quicker. Um, we also have this analytics section here. So uh, this is where you're going to be able to keep track of your orders that came in, your average order revenue um, cost and shipping cost and how all of that kind of lines up for your orders. You can filter this by date, by sales channel and all of that to see a good breakdown. You'll also see your shipping stats, so this is going to be your total shipping cost, your average shipping cost, shipped orders, uh, and everything for a certain time frame. You can filter this by sales channel, shipped order, tracking created. We can kind of see the different statuses here um, and sort by a time frame, and we can export all of this, a lot of this information into a CSV file. You can also see our top customers here, so customers who have spent the most with us. Um, it's going to kind of put those in order here, and you can filter that by time frame and sales channel as well. 
and kind of see if you have any customers with recurring orders. That would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe you want to give them more, give them a coupon or something like that. Um, we also have inventory and top seller stats. Those are going to be uh, available on the pro plan. So if you ever upgrade to the pro plan where you're tracking and using more of our advanced functionality, um, you'll be able to kind of see that information in analytics as well. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's just about it um, as far as a basic demo goes. Like I said, there's tons of other features and we have a lot of other videos kind of delving into those. So definitely check those out. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We can kind of go over a demo with you um, or certain features you're looking for, maybe a checklist. Um, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.